Hey guys. So, um, as most of y'all know, I am currently in my junior year at Valdosta State University. Before school ended, I was in the process of producing two short films that I hoped would be released at the end of the school year or sometime during the summer. Unfortunately, due to COVID-19, the countrywide uh, school evacuation and classes being moved online, I am unable to complete my short films. But I didn't want my my work that I put into it, my partner's work, the actor's work into the projects to go unnoticed, so I decided to just edit together all that we had so far from the short films, even though it's going to be incomplete. I still wanted the work to be seen by, well, somebody, by y'all. So that's what pretty much what this video is for. There's going to be two projects that I'm going to be uploading to my channel. Please view them. I'd really appreciate it. And I ask, like, because it hurts me a lot that they're not, that they're going to be unfinished and not the complete projects. But I ask that you please judge them based on everything that we got so far and not what they could have been, just what we got so far. Because I really think they could have been something, but unfortunately the circumstances didn't allow that. But anyway, for your viewing pleasure, I hope you enjoy. Mason, what, I scared you? Nah, I, I just didn't hear you come up behind me, that's all. That's what you get for having your music up so loud. I mean, I've been staying together about two years now. I would have thought maybe you would have been a sense of my presence. <laughs> so, what's up? Uh, not much. Me and Russ doing a two-gate tournament. Thought I'd let you know. No word. Why not just text me? I did, man. I even called. Your phone must have been on silent. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I told you. But I can't. I was gonna go to tonight's party, but he said she had another night planned for us. Okay, bet. What y'all gonna do? Oh, well, it's just another night of Netflix and whatever. Y you know, <laughs> now that I say it out loud, it would probably be fine if I skipped out on it just this once. I don't know, man. Maybe it's best you go. Mm, nah, it'll be fine, bro. It's, it's 
It's 5.52 now. What time y'all getting started? Uh, think about it, man. You know how Izzy can get? You don't want to give a reason to be upset with you. Bruh, I'll just stop by after the tournament and make it up to it. The real one. You know that? No. We definitely know this is your idea. But who told me about the tournament in the first place? You got a point. <laughs> That's right. But I promise, bro, if this blows up in my face, your name won't be mentioned. Dude, why are you lying? So, I know I'm late, but something came up last minute. I'm so sorry. What do you get out of lying to me? <laughs> what? Nothing came up. Uh, yeah, it did. I had a, a paper due. Um, five pages. I barely got it done on time. What class? Uh, that political science class scopes and methods of political science. Um, but <laughs> have you been sitting here and waiting for me this whole time? You're not uh, you uh, you could have went ahead and took something in a water. Oh, hey, if you're going to the kitchen, could you give me a drink? Hey. You're pathetic. What? And you don't deserve me. Okay. I just hate that it took me this long to realize it. Is it what are you talking about? What time is it? Uh, I don't. What time is it, Zachary? I don't know. It... It's ten thirty. The library closes at nine, dumbass. Oh. <laughs> All right, I, I was playing 2K with Mason and the guys. I, I tried to tell him that we had plans, but he wouldn't take no for an answer. You are such a liar. Mason would do a lot of things for you, but he would not do that. He really wanted me to play. Besides, I would have let called to let you know, but my phone died. And you just didn't bother to pick it up? Why didn't you text Mason? I did, he didn't text me back. He was probably just ignoring you. If he was ignoring me, it was only because you told him to. Yo, 
Believe what you want. What kind of music you listen to? Pretty much anything. Country occasionally. Sometimes I can <laughs> That might be a turn off knowing that you jam Gary Underwood and Luke Bryan. Shut up! Listen to this. I think you're gonna like it. Girl, you kissing all on me 
Licking my neck with my hands on your thigh and I'm making that bitch late Knowing just what you want cause you ain't happy in a week And I know that you a freak, oh girl Girl, I know you down for playing I know you listening to what I'm saying Nobody just got it Last night was really great. Uh, yeah, it really was. So what do you want to do? Oh, uh, <laughs> I actually got something I gotta go do. What? What were you trying to do? Oh, well, I just thought after last night, you know, we might go grab something to eat or do something. Oh, I would. It's just like, um, yeah, I've already got something to do and it's probably going to keep me busy for a while, so, um... <sighs> wow. So you're blowing me off. No! I just... Listen, I gotta go, <laughs> okay? What, what about your friend that you're visiting? So you're not blowing me off, you're just kicking me out. Yeah, <laughs> but I, I swear I, I've got something I gotta do. Well, like I said, I'll be here all week, so we have plenty of time. Oh, that's great, <laughs> but I actually have a job I have to go to, and that, that's why I'm here on break. Besides, don't you have to, like, hang out with your friends? I'm sure you guys have plans, so I don't want to, like, impede on that. Unbelievable. No, I'm... I'm sorry. Listen, I really did have a great time, but I, I have your number, and if I get free, I'll hit you up, and I, if I don't enjoy your time here... That went well. left. I told him. I basically broke up with him. 
I told him I knew everything, and he tried to deny it. He told me I was wrong. Dude, what happened? So, um, I went over to Izzy's after 2K last night. And she yelled your ear off, didn't she? That and more, but she started yelling. I, I tried to calm her down. Dude, she slapped me. Is he? Yeah. She brought up Crystal. Oh, jeez. Does she know? I'm not sure. I don't think so, but someone might have told her something. She ended up kicking me out. So I went to Janiah's party and right, I met this fine white girl. But for a skinny girl, she had... Uh, I ended up taking her back to... But uh, this morning when I went to go make things right with Izzy, <laughs> she basically broke up with me. I, I mean, she said that she didn't want anything to do with me. Shouldn't be hard for you. You got this fine girl to fall back on, right? Haha, uh, very funny, but that's different. That was, that was just a thing. And the other just things too, right? Easy is special. That's why I need your help to get her back. Dude, have you not noticed I've been packing this whole time? I told you once I finished my essay that I was going home for the weekend. Uh, y'all going anywhere? I don't know, man. My mom say it's some kind of technology free vacation. So it's gonna be hard to get in touch with me. What about you? Where are you going? Hanging back. Got work. Uh, trying to figure out some way to get Izzy back. Think about it like this. You were doing what you were doing while with her. She knows what you want. I mean, you kind of don't know what you want. I know it's none of my business, but maybe it's for the best. I don't know. Yeah. You're pretty yeah. You too.
Papa. Um, can I help you? Um, well, 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 would you mind uh, letting me go? What? You know, I would have thought that after last night I would have got you on some better music, but Annie's still on the country train. Your opinion means nothing to me, much like your word. What are you doing? You look so scared when you're not in control of your situation. I'm assuming that doesn't happen very often for you. No, I mean, what are you doing? Oh, well that's simple. You lied to the wrong one. It's hard to look away when I notice a work of beauty. <laughs> You seeing anyone? Oh, you don't have to worry about that. You slick son of a... <sighs> so, I've decided you need to be taught a lesson. Listen, I'm sorry that I lied to you, but I think we both know that you're not about to do anything. Oh, you think so? Do me a favor. Say hi to your girlfriend. You don't have to do this. Oh, but I do. The way I see it, she's better off where she is anyway than with you. Okay, okay. I'm sorry about lying to you about Izzy and about pushing you out. And I, it was a low down thing to do, okay? And please, just let us go. Hmm, that just won't do. Because, see, it's not just about me. You stepped on a lot of toes, Zach. And you're about to get what's coming to you. What time are you supposed to be here? One o'clock, like every other day. And? What time is it? Enough time for me not to be late. Good to see you too, Wesley. Yeah, yeah. Just watch yourself, man.
Hey, Zach, did you forget you had to work today? Vincent? Dude, listen, I need your help. This girl's got me handcuffed in my room. You need to get west of your campus police and get the front desk worker. I'll let you in here and get me. What are you saying? I can't really hear you. I need you to get help and come to my room. I'm locked up inside. Come help me. Uh, yeah, bro. I'm on the way. Did you hear what I said? No, don't worry, don't worry. I'm on the way. It sounded like he said he needs help getting to his room because he's locked out. Well, what's that got to do with getting to work? I don't know. Uh, maybe he lost his key. Well, where's he stay at? Uh, he just stays over at Harvey. He both do, actually. Go check on him real quick. Now, now, now? Yeah. And both of you come back. Thanks, Ray. We have breaking news from the campus of No Such University. Police are on the scene of an apparent murder-suicide. This happening within one of the dorm rooms of Harvey Hall. Juliet Koch is there with an update for us. Juliet. Yes, Daniel, very sad news to report out here this morning. We have been able to learn that two students are dead here at Harvey Hall at No Such University. What we have been able to learn is that police responded to a call of a gunshot between 2 and 3 a.m. this morning. When they arrived on scene, they found two males dead inside a dorm room. Investigators believe that one male shot and killed the other one and then took his own life. Homicide investigators are still here on the scene trying to learn exactly what happened here. And of course, we will continue to update you as the story unfolds. I saw you the way. Thought about coming over, but your vibe didn't like you wanted your company. And then when I seen you leave early, I was surprised to get your call. I just think it's best to be around friends at a time like this. I mean, you know I'm here for you. It's just, I can't believe it. And then the whole thing with Vincent. Like, I remember when the three of us used to just sit at the table and talk for hours, and then now. Do I? Come on now, here we go with that. Do I know if you're here for me? Because you haven't been. Friends look out for each other. Friends protect each other. And you haven't done that for me. You did that for him. Yes. You knew about Crystal. And the rest of them. You knew about all of them. You had to believe me. I really want to tell you, but I mean, you're such a good friend and you deserve to know, but what kind of friend would I be if I snitched on him? I had to let him see his mistakes and see what he done wrong. 
You have a sister in the show? And she'll probably start dating soon. And you probably won't like whoever it is just because they're dating your little sister. I want you to imagine her in my shoes. Imagine her being lied to and cheated on constantly. And imagine her so called friends knowing about it and saying nothing. You are a friend to me only in name. You may not have committed the lie, but you withheld the truth. And I can't be friends with someone who assisted in causing me so much hurt. I don't hate you, Mason. I understand your situation. And you made the decision. I wish you the best. <laughs> Now, to a recent news alert, local city police are investigating what they are now ruling a suspicious death. Police were called to Harvey Hall at No Such University last Monday and found the bodies of 21-year-old Zachary Penn and 19-year-old Vincent Clark dead at the time thought to be a murder-suicide. But after further analysis, certain details regarding Penn's apparent suicide have not lined up. An investigation is now underway Coming up tonight at 11, hear from the two student supervisor that sent Vincent Clark to retrieve Penn hours before they were both found dead. Quiet on the set. Can we please have quiet on the set?